Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up Midwest, and this is going to be a review and swatches of the brand new Tarte Lip Surgeons lip gloss line. They sent the entire color range within this gloss line my way, and so I wanted to get a review with swatches of each and every lip color inside the line, as well as a comparison between this and the past gloss line that Tarte had as well. So if you want to see all that, please continue watching. So to start, there are eight or technically nine shades within this entire line. For some reason, they have all the eight under one category on their website and then on all by itself, there is one of their signature shades, Park Avenue Princess. Many of you Tarte lovers will know that they have a bronzer called Park Avenue Princess. It's beautiful and now they've made it into a lip gloss. So not sure why, but ultimately there are pretty much nine shades within this line and they are an offshoot of a pretty well-known lip product from Tarte that already exists. The Lip Surgeons, I guess there are multiple finishes, so it's just their lip surgeons line i personally tried the matte lip tint these are the lip creams that came in their previous 2013 holiday set and then i think i also have one that is more of a balm stain where it has a balmy finish but it has super vibrant color and pigmentation so as an offshoot in the lip surgeons line these glosses are going to have the same lip conditioning ingredients like vitamin e and antioxidants however unlike these they will have more of a long lasting gloss they claim to be long lasting as well as having a hint of tint or I think they say powerful pigmentation, but uh, once we get into the swatches, you'll see more about that. So now let's talk about the actual shades. I'm going to talk about the most pigmented first. Right off the bat, you have True Love. This, some of you might have already tried. It came in a special value or a kit that's currently available on QVC, and it is described as a watermelon. And this is a finish that doesn't have any frost or shimmer. Next up is Natural Beauty, which looks very similar to True Love in the packaging. However, on the lips, Natural Beauty not only has gold shimmer in it, but it's also a little more sheer, a little less pigmented. And last up is Flush, which is a berry rose. Again, this is sans shimmer or frost, and it tends to be a little more opaque on the lips. Now, obviously, as you can see from the images, none of these are completely opaque. I have a little spot, or used to have a spot on my lips where it was really dry and it flaked off. And so that was kind of an unexpected gauge to see just how full coverage these are. You can see none of them completely cover it. However, they do manage to have some pigmented tint without being super milky. And what can sometimes happen with those milky glosses is that they bleed everywhere, which I also attribute to the formula, which I'll talk more about later. Let's move on to some of the more subtle neutral glosses. There are two peachy colors within the line. One is Blissful, which is more of a warm peach, no shimmer, no frost. And the other is Tipsy, again, more of a cream finish shade. And this is more of a pinky leaning orange, so more of a coral both of which pretty much sheer out on the lips. Then there are more nudie pinks. Both of these are also cream finish, no frost, no shimmer. One is blushing, which is kind of a pinky mauve, and the other is exposed, which has less pink and more brown, I guess I would say. And the last two, one is fearless, which is a shimmery pink coral, which has pretty noticeable gold shimmer, and the Park Avenue Princess, which is its own category of color, I guess. Interestingly enough, though, despite looking one looking very corally pink and one looking very neutral natural in the tube both look very similar on the lips as far as the formula goes these are ultra glossy in looking through my entire lip gloss collection they might be the glossiest glosses I have ever tried but what's interesting about the formula is that it's as weird as it is to say kind of a hearty formula it feels a little thicker and it doesn't feather at all I would compare it most in terms of looks to something like uh, the Revlon Super Lustrous Glosses. This is in the shade Berry Allure, which is very similar to the other glosses I just showed you where it's a gel formula. And while it does have a hint of tint, you mostly use it for the gloss properties. The difference being this is a little thinner and it wears off pretty easily. It definitely won't last through eating and drinking, which goes without saying for so many glosses out there, they're just not meant to be long wearing. These on the other hand last for quite a bit longer. I would say at two, two and a half, maybe three hours if you're like minimal eating and drinking. But still, I think for a gloss worn alone, that's pretty good. Especially given that I didn't experience any feathering outside of the lip line. The interesting thing about these is they adhere really well to your skin or your lips. Wherever you apply it, it adheres really well. But gloss on gloss, if you blot your lips together or rub them together, they don't stick at all. So this is minimal stick factor with these glosses, which is great because I know a lot of people hate sticky or who likes sticky, gloopy lip glosses. You get all that shine without any negative texture. 
The wand is also an interesting feature with these. It's, it's kind of a modified doe foot where it's kind of more like a shelf. I found that I have to dip multiple times in order to build up gloss, the glossy finish, and the pigmentation. This doesn't pull out a ton of product for you, which is kind of a pain in the butt. However, it also allows you to get a little bit more of a precise application. As far as comparisons go, I wanted to whip out my old Maracuja lip glosses, which I just found that they discontinued, so I'm not sure when that happened, but they are gone. I assume to be replaced with these. These are the old Maracuja lip glosses. They are a little bit stickier, a little bit thinner formula. They remind me a lot of Stila's clickable or twist up lip glosses glosses. These, however, have a pretty strong minty scent, and these don't at all. These have more of a sweet vanilla scent that once they're on the lips, you can't really taste at all, which I kind of like, and you really can't even smell. It's not all that strong for those that don't like to have scented lip products. And also because it lacks that peppermint, I also didn't notice any tingling going on on my lips, which I did notice specifically the first time I ever used one of these matte lip surgeons lip tints. Individually, these retail for $19 a piece, which is pretty on par for the entire Tarte Cosmetics line. I wouldn't say this is a line that you need to have every single shade from the collection because they're super unique and individual. Much like a lot of Tarte's pieces, they're super natural, more about enhancing and emphasizing natural beauty. But that being said, the formula, as I said earlier, is so unique in that it maintains this super high shine gloss for a relatively long period of time, and it does so without budging or feathering. Additionally, I found they really did condition my lips nicely. You see that thing that I had in those pictures that came from, you know, dry, peeling lips. All I have been using is these over the past few days since I had that, and my heel my heels, my lips healed up really nicely. I find they're super nourishing even during what is still kind of an awkward winter spring transi transition outside. And so they also have that aspect of their formula going for them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!